All right, guys, real quick, I'm going to show you how to make some floating trays for your aquaponics setup. So let's go check it out. All right, so as you can see, I got my foam right here. I actually got a generator for Christmas time, and this was the foam that was protecting it inside the box. Works perfect. Any type of foam works good for aquaponics. So what I did was I bought my little two-inch um, pots that go in the aquaponics, put them upside down, marked them as you can see right here, and I took just a knife, or you can use a razor blade or anything, and I cut inside the line because as you can see there is a small lip around the actual pot, so I don't want the pot to fall through. So I'm going to go ahead and cut these out and put my pots in and go show you how it floats in the tank. All right, so there it is. As you can see, let's take my pots out and shove them in here. And I'm actually gonna be using these for sugar cane. It's a little bit thicker foam, which is good because I don't want the sugar cane too far down in the water. So I'm gonna start the sugar cane like this, as you can see, about an inch and a half or so. It's hanging down. So let's go put it in the tank and I'll show you where it's gonna go. Look how huge that Procosimist is compared to my hand. Anyways, so I got my aquaponics set up here and I need more grow space. So basically what I'm going to do, or what I did was, here's one of the trays you can see. This is my duckweed bed and I went ahead and did starters of um, sugar cane and sprouted. Top of my tanks, I just have foam or wood. So, that tray that I just built is actually going to sit right here in the water, which is perfect. And I have more grow space now and fish underneath. So I'm going to do that along the whole top of all these beds and uh, show you guys how that works. Alright guys, thanks again for watching the video. Please subscribe. Any questions or comments, put them below. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Cheers. Alright guys, one more thing that I forgot to mention was when doing the trays, this is another one I'm going to do. Um, different type of foam. So this is non-toxic. Um, it's not going to grow any mold or bacteria in it. So this is really good stuff. They sell this in uh, four by eight sheets at Home Depot or Lowe's. But what I use is a hole saw. Um, so pretty simple. Figure out what size it is. Looks like it's that one right there. Just drill your hole and slide it in there. And then you got a floating tray. Cheers. All right, this is the quick and cleanest way to use this type of bit. So you mark out your sheet. Don't go all the way through because you'll blow out the back end. Whoops. Make sure you hold on to it too. The hole saw works great. So what I did was drilled these all the way through, didn't, sorry, not all the way through, just to where the bit comes through, then I finish it up on the back side and it pops it out perfect. Look at that. Works great every time and it grabs it out for you too. Oh, not that one, right when I say it. So, there it is, check it out, all finished. Your pot's fitting there, just right. I'm gonna go spray it off and stick it in the aquaponics.